So one of the main things that I have to do for the rust that's in there is I have to first seal the outside. And uh, my friend David came. And David's gonna, he's basically, he's basically um, grinding the rust down. Say hello, David. You can give us the finger. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so he's basically grinding the rust down on the outside and we're going to paint it with um, rust lock, which is supposedly the best rust paint ever. Put it rust lock. There it is. That's the stuff. So we're going to paint it with that after we grind all the rust down and then it'll seal. So I'll show you how you can follow along here. The directions for rust lock say to take all the loose rust off of the metal. Um, and this is pretty much what we're doing. We're just grinding off any loose rust. We're not, um, you know, going super hard trying to remove every little bit of rust, but removing the majority of the rust is important. Um, so that's what David does all around the entire boat, entire edge of the boat. You hungry? A little. Here, do you like bread? Yeah, I love bread. I baked this last night. No shit. Did it smoke or anything when you sprayed it on? A little bit. Yeah? Is that, do I just, just to go over once, right? Yeah, just give it a spray anywhere there's exposed metal. Okay. We're etching it. That's what this is called. Etching? Yeah. I'm just going to video it a little bit. Is that too much? And that's too much. You can even go, you can put it on spray mode. Mist mode, rather. I don't want to end that at me. Another one. Yeah, that looks good. And it can just be a light little, it just needs to get it all over it, anywhere that's dry. This is splash zone. It comes in two parts. A788, part A, part B. You gotta mix it together. And it, it's a really good filler, sturdy filler. So here we go. I'm going to mix it in here. Generally, they explain to mix it in the gloves of your hand. But um, David is actually using the gloves to apply the paint thinner onto the etched metal. And um, he needs the gloves. So I'm going to um, do it in this pan. And then we can take it out with our gloves when we're ready. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> Just let me know when you're finished, David. I'm gonna use those gloves. All right. So for the mixing process of Splash Zone, it has the yellow and the black, and what you're supposed to do is knead it in your hands and work in the, constant, the, the mixture one to one until it turns a solid olive green color. Basically, when it's perfectly mixed, you don't see streaks of black or yellow. Um, you just have an olive green paste. And that's what I'm doing here, mixing it up in my hands. And then I go to apply it. And basically applying it, I'm just pressing it into the clean deck. So on the deck here, we have um, cleaned it with both muriatic acid and paint thinner. The paint thinner cleans off the muriatic acid and it just leaves a super clean surface. Um, and then you, I'm just basically pressing it into all the little cracks and fissures. And, you know, in this part in particular, it was ground down really deeply. So I'm trying to fill that grinding mark with, with the putty. So we let that dry overnight and today we're just going to sand it so that it's relatively flat and textured to receive paint nicely.
This is the life. Right, David? Um, this is the life we all desire. Dirty food. So I went around the boat and I cleaned it all with um, paint thinner and acid. And then I started putting putty in the bow. There's a space in the bow that I had to use a spatula to get to because it was really tight. And from there, I um, started painting. Lock is very good primer um, but one of the downsides of it is it dries very hard to the point where if you let it dry without coating it enough um, you have to sand it so what I was doing was something called hot coating and basically what that means is allowing the paint to start getting tacky and once it got tacky I would put another coat on so you'll see me here just putting coat after coat on um, and you know in total I did about four coats the paint can calls for two coats but I did about four coats of this primer pedit rust lock around the entire boat Mostly just depressed, honestly. I just discovered more rust in my boat. And other than that, we have gotten the rust off the rails. There's Kevin. And we did one other thing. Painted. A little shocking. I knew the rust was bad. I didn't know it was this bad. Thank you all for watching. Um, in the next video, you'll see a little bit about this new problem that I'm discovering. And remember, if you like this content, to like and subscribe! Again, thanks a lot.